Bienvenidos a todos. Welcome to you all. I'm Barbara Jenkins, Superintendent of Orange County Public Schools. This program is a celebration, a celebration of Hispanic culture and traditions. It is also a celebration of people who are proud of their Hispanic heritage, special people who have an unquenchable desire to serve their country, their local community, and the people who are their neighbors. Over the course of the next few minutes, we'll introduce you to some of these remarkable people. We'll also offer you a little flavor of Hispanic culture as represented in the art of OCPS students. Orange County Public Schools is very proud to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Hola, soy Joana Lopez, miembro de la Junta Escolar del Condado Orange del Distrito 2. Hello, I am Johanna Lopez, the OCPS board member from District 2. Para celebrar el mes de la herencia hispana, OCPS ha creado la resolución proclamando la importancia de las contribuciones hechas por hispanoamericanos. To celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, OCPS has created a resolution proclaiming the importance of the contributions made by Hispanic Americans. Les pedimos a cuatro de nuestros estudiantes de OCPS que leyeran partes de la resolución a lo largo de nuestro programa. We ask four of our OCPS students to read parts of the resolution throughout our program. We'll begin with Jariana Ortiz and Andy Artiles from Colonial High School reading the first two resolution statements. Whereas Hispanic Americans are the youngest and fastest growing segment of the United States of America. And whereas the Hispanic population is expected to contribute 44% of the nation's population growth from 2000 to 2020 and 62% from 2020 to 2050. Soy Josie Medina, directora senior del Departamento de Servicios Multilingües para OCPS. I am Josie Medina, the Senior Director of OCPS Multilingual Services Department. Durante la primera parte de nuestro programa, reconoceremos a algunos hispanoamericanos destacados que han hecho contribuciones significativas a nuestro país, al mismo tiempo que comparten sus valores y cultura. During the first part of our program, we are going to recognize some well-known Hispanic Americans who have made significant contributions to our country while also sharing their values and culture. Sus contribuciones reflejaron quienes son, los talentos que poseen, y su intenso impulso por hacer la diferencia. Their contributions reflect who they are, the talents they possess, and their intense drive to make a difference. Esperamos que nuestros jóvenes vean en sus historias una razón para confiar en sí mismos, descubrir su potencial y la forma en que pueden servir a los demás. We hope that our young people will see in their stories a reason to look confidently within themselves and discover their own potential and the way in which they can serve others. In 2017, Luis Fonsi's hit song, Despacito, won four Latin Grammy Awards and became the number one streamed hit in the world. Was there something about this graduate from Dr. Phillips High School in Orlando that destined him for worldwide acclaim? Perhaps his album, Comenzaré, I Will Begin, offers a hint of the drive that characterizes the life of this Puerto Rican native. His album became an instant success in Puerto Rico and across Latin America. Luis is known for his support to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. He has also received the Spirit of Hope Award. During his efforts to help his native country after Hurricane Maria, Luis said, right now, there are a lot of people suffering and it's time to unite. Internationally known fashion designer Carolina Herrera took inspiration from her grandmother who introduced her to a new world of nearly limitless possibilities. Early in her career, Carolina worked in the boutique of fashion designer Emilio Pucci in Caracas, Venezuela. Later, moving to New York and rubbing shoulders with the biggest names in high society. In 1980, Carolina founded her own company outfitting people such as Michelle Obama, Jacqueline Onassis, and Laura Bush. 
Carolina has been profiled seven times on the cover of Vogue magazine. She received the Fashion Group International Superstar Award and the Style Designer Award of the Year. When describing the essence of elegance, Carolina said, It is not only what you're wearing, it is how you wear it and who you are inside. When you're convinced your cause is just, you fight for it. Rigoberta Manchu is the child of poor Guatemalan farmers from the Quicha branch of the Mayan culture. She saw her mother tortured and her father and brother killed as they fought for freedom and human rights. In 1992, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for continuing in the cause that her family had fought for. Forced to go into hiding after her involvement in the work of the Committee of the Peasant Union, Rigoberta became internationally known for promoting the rights of indigenous people. Today, as an international peace and justice advocate, Rigoberta remains a powerful voice for the rights of all people to be free. After more than 25 years on stage and in film and television, Modesto Lacen has become known as someone who can do it all. At the University of Puerto Rico, where he graduated magna cum laude, Modesto excelled in classical theater, physical theater, and dance. He also developed fluency in four languages. Modesto demonstrated his commitment to the Puerto Rican film industry by working on more than 20 films in the island. In New York, his successful eight-year career resulted in numerous awards, including the OLA and Alliance for Creative Excellence Awards. Modesto has also taken the role of activist, working on a project called Camino a Loiza to improve the quality of life in Loiza, his Puerto Rican hometown. Dr. Alexandro Laya Castro works on advanced physical theories that troubled even Albert Einstein. Quantum mechanical systems are by any measure counterintuitive, but scientists like Alexandra are demonstrating how they impact essential aspects of our daily lives. A native of Bogota, Colombia, Alexandra is especially known for her contributions to the theory of quantum effects in biomolecular systems contributions that earned her the prestigious Maxwell Prize in 2016. Today, Alexandra is internationally recognized for pioneering a new generation of theoretical approaches for understanding the deep quantum effects in photosynthesis. She might even have something to teach Albert Einstein when she expresses the substance of her work by saying, life requires a sophisticated handling of energy quanta. His face and voice are known to nearly everyone in Central Florida's Spanish-speaking community. For more than 50 years, Oman Machuca has been one of the most honored periodistas or journalists in the news business. From his father, a Christian pastor, Oman inherited a deep desire to help others and a strong commitment to his family. Oman was born in Bogota, Colombia, and began his broadcasting career at the age of 16 before violence directed at journalists caused him to come to the United States. Oman has been honored with an Emmy Award, a NASA Award, and the Don Quixote Award. He currently serves as a senior reporter for Telemundo 31 NBC. When asked what he would most like from God, Oman said, give me the knowledge and wisdom to be able to understand everyone, from the most needy to the most exalted. Ahora, vamos a seguir leyendo nuestra proclamación de OCPS que celebra el mes de la herencia hispana 2020. We are now going to continue reading from our OCPS proclamation celebrating the 2020 Hispanic Heritage Month. Our proclamation readers will be Julian Font and Emily Hanafy from Eagle Creek Elementary. And whereas Hispanic Americans are a vital part of our economy and America's success depends on expanding trade with other nations. And whereas Hispanic Americans share a rich cultural and linguistic heritage. 
Nuestros estudiantes de OCPS no son demasiado jóvenes para hacer contribuciones importantes. Durante los próximos minutos, queremos compartir con ustedes muestras de obra de arte. Después de eso, los estudiantes de Colonial High School compartirán sus citas favoritas de reconocidas figuras hispanas. Our OCPS students are not too young to make important contributions. For the next few minutes, we want to share with you samples of students' artwork. After that, students from Colonial High School will show their favorite quotes from well-known Hispanic figures. Hola, my name is Jocelyn Cortez Franco. I'm in seventh grade at Gilton Middle School. I created a Amante bark painting. These paintings are made on handmade bark paper, and as you can see, they're really colorful. My culture is very bright and colorful. Art in my culture means a lot to me. Making artworks of my culture makes me happy and connected. Hi, my name is Elani Marie Torsan. I'm in seventh grade and I go to Gofa Middle School. My Monte art shows a colorful bird with flowers that have different shades of blue, green, pink, and yellow. I want to show how vibrant the Hispanic culture is. This is important to me because this is who I am. I'm Asian and Hispanic and the culture runs in my blood. Hello, my name is Juliana Marquez and to my work, Freedom for Venezuela, I wanted to express the gratitude that Venezuelan immigrants feel for arriving in this great country and receiving the great support that the good American people has given. Hello, my name is Rosie Cerny. I'm a seventh grade student in Roberto Clemente's Middle School. Today I'm going to talk about my MOLA, my cultural um, connection with it. I think Hispanic Heritage Month is important because we're here to help this uh, country to become better. Hola, mi nombre es Destiny Bonilla. Estoy en el grado 11 y voy a Colonial High School. Hoy voy a representar a César Chávez. Sí se puede. Gracias. Hola, mi nombre es Paula Montilla. Soy del colegio Colonial High School y soy un senior. Yo voy a estar representando Sonia Sotomayor. El éxito tiene su propia recompensa, pero el fracaso es un profesor al que no le debes tener miedo. Hola, mi nombre es Lucy Juliet. Estoy en tercero de bachillerato en Colonial High School y voy a representar Chita Rivera. El espíritu de la danza es algo asombroso. Cuando el cuerpo y el espíritu se encuentran, es algo muy bueno. Hello, my name is Jose Escalona. I'm a junior at Colonial High School and I'll be quoting Lynn Manuel Miranda. Soy lo único en la vida que puedo controlar. Soy inimitable, soy un original. Para la siguiente parte de nuestro programa, queremos presentarle tres organizaciones locales que han identificado las necesidades de nuestra comunidad y han respondido con generosidad y espíritu de participación. In the next portion of our program, we want to introduce you to three local organizations that have looked at the needs of our community and have responded with a generosity and a spirit of involvement. Keeping our community informed, harnessing our power, forging our own narrative. These are the important goals of Alianza for Progress. At Alianza, avanzando means moving forward. Moving forward with economic development, expansion of voting rights, affordable housing, educational opportunities, and environmental protection. Founded in 2018, Alianza organizes Puerto Ricans and Hispanics in Florida to amplify their community voices and work for freedom, equality, and justice. Together we are stronger. It's a slogan that sets the pattern for Alianza support of our schools, our community, and the aspirations of every Central Florida resident. Preparing our OCPS students for life and career is a partnership of schools and businesses, the kind of partnership enthusiastically supported by the South Avionics Training Center. Since 2015, South Avionics has offered students opportunities to get trained, get skilled, and get started. 
through bilingual instruction in advanced avionics that enable planes to fly. Recently, South Avionics began offering scholarships to Hispanic students from Colonial High School, making it possible to enter a high-paying field where the demand for skilled technicians is high. With a 99% student success rate, South Avionics opens the door to a real career and a real opportunity to dream big. In 2019, Young Venezuelans Abroad, or Jovenex, opened an Orlando chapter to address the needs of young immigrant students ages 15 to 25. With a focus on education, Hovenix works to ensure the fulfillment of all graduation requirements mandated by the state of Florida. Most recently, Hovenix has worked with the Orange County Public School Board, requesting better training for school counselors and teachers in matters affecting Venezuelan immigrant students. Hovenix has also been active in sharing a message throughout Central Florida to count on the young people in whom lies the future for a better and more vibrant community. Para la siguiente parte de nuestro programa, presentaremos a tres personas de la Florida Central que se han comprometido personalmente con sus vecinos y su comunidad. Esperamos que encuentre inspiración en sus historias. For the next portion of our program, we're going to present three Central Florida people who have made a personal commitment to their neighbors and their community. We hope you will find inspiration in their stories. Bernardita Sierra is a multi-talented communicator, educator, and counselor. Born in Chile, she lived in Spain and Switzerland before settling in Central Florida. Currently, Bernardita works as a university professor and educational counselor. She also serves as the director of the Educational Guidance Window at the Consulate of Mexico here in Orlando. Her 12 years of educational experience has led to a focus on helping immigrant students successfully fulfill their academic, emotional, and social needs. In recent years, Bernardita has actively supported minority students who do not have legal status or are on their DACA status. Being organized, involved, and multi-talented are words that only begin to describe the qualities of Mari Plume Cruz. Mari is the CEO of a company called The Mari Project. Its mission is to help clients design attainable paths toward new business creation. She is also the executive director of The Mari Foundation, a nonprofit organization with a vision to educate young people with leadership and business skills, while also creating opportunities that strengthen the community. Volunteering is also one of Maddie's passions. She is a former president of the University High School PTSA and the Orange County Council of PTAs and PTSAs. She now serves as its third vice president. Do you want to hear Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer speak about Hispanic Heritage Month? Or what Orange County District 2 Commissioner Mayra Uribe wanted to be when she was 10 years old, President of the United States? Or advice about available rental assistance for families facing eviction? You can be informed about dozens of topics important to Central Florida residents by tuning into Aquí Anaya Magazine hosted by Mariesi, Davila, and Julio Peña every Friday on Acción 97.5. Mariesi and Julio have committed themselves to making their program the point of contact and exchange for Latinos in Central Florida and in the world. Aquí en Allá is a program that takes its listeners here and there throughout Central Florida to hear all the news they need. Whereas Hispanic Americans have enriched our social, intellectual, and artistic life in the United States of America. And whereas Hispanic Americans have played an important role in the history of Florida, from the early days of the pioneer to our current legacy of leaders in international trade, technology, education, and aerospace. 
Nuestro grupo final de homenajeados fue nominado por nuestros principales de las escuelas de OCPS. Todos estos maestros han hecho contribuciones significativas al éxito de la educación pública en la Florida Central. Our final group of honorees was nominated by our OCPS principals. They are teachers who all have made significant contributions to the success of public education in Central Florida. At Northlake Park Community School, every student knows Jose de Jesus. That's because as their physical education teacher, Coach Jose works with every student every week. Jose also creates lasting bonds of respect with students who have experienced his Jump Rope for Heart event, his mild challenges, and his influence as a male Hispanic role model. Outside of class, Jose provides musical accompaniment to his school's choir. His skill as a highly talented guitar player makes every choir performance truly memorable. Even young patients at Numores Children's Hospital have experienced Jose's kindness during his annual toy drive started in memory of his son, Gabriel. ESOL teacher, Brenda Diaz, is an important reason why the students at Innovation Middle School rise above the ordinary to achieve the extraordinary. Highly respected for her talents in the classroom, Brenda was chosen last year as her school's Teacher of the Year. Brenda is also highly valued for bringing the Latinos in Action program to campus, a national program that offers students a sense of cultural pride as well as a desire to serve their community. In the process, Brenda has brought a world of change to her school's climate and culture. Ida Vicente Rolón is a veteran AP Spanish teacher who loves to help students become confident in themselves and achieve their own path to success. With 20 years of teaching experience, she continues to display enthusiasm for the power of communication in both Spanish and English. At Timber Creek High School, Ida serves as chair of the World Language Department and the sponsor of the Spanish Honor Society and the Hispanic Club. She also manages her school's observance of Hispanic Heritage Month and the Multicultural Day celebration. In 2017, Ida received the American Association of Teachers Florida Teacher of the Year Award. She also served as board appointee of the Florida Foreign Language Association. Whereas celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th allows us to appreciate and validate the diversity and character of our students, parents, teachers, and staff in Orange County Public Schools. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Orange County Public Schools are hereby proclaimed September 15th to October 15th, 2020 as Hispanic Heritage Month. It encourages teachers, administrative staff, support personnel, and students to participate in activities in promotion of Hispanic Heritage Month. There you have it. Our community celebrates a rich Hispanic heritage, not just this month, but every month. In this program, we have seen many stories of generosity, commitment, and real concern for others. These and many more are certainly the enduring qualities of Hispanic culture and tradition. Our entire Central Florida community is made stronger and richer by the many caring people who share their diverse backgrounds and cultural inheritance. OCPS proudly celebrates Hispanic Heritage Month. Thank you for watching.